We're going to start by stretching our calf muscles. Stand on a step, ideally with a railing next to it, and put your foot on the edge of it. I'm using this table and bench because I don't have a step available at my campsite. So go find yourself a location in your house that you can do this if this is the first time you're doing this yoga sequence. Subsequent practice sessions, you can use the chapter links to skip to the beginning of the calf stretching. Pause the video until you've got your foot on the step ready to stretch. Ease some weight onto your right foot so that you're stretching your right calf where you see my stretch. And just follow your breath. Count each in-breath and notice how many breaths you take while I count to eight of my breaths for each of the major leg stretches and postures that we do for this sequence. Okay, switch to the other leg and start following your breath, counting each inhale as we stretch for the same amount of time as the other side. Okay, come out of that stretch, release, pause the video, and restart it when you're back to your mat. Start at the head of your mat, raise your arms up overhead, and do a nice back bend. And then swing down to touch your toes. Come up for a quick flat back and then come into our first plank. Lower down and up into an upward facing dog. Push down to a downward facing dog. Now we're gonna raise our right foot up behind us and then bring the right knee up towards the left elbow. Raise the right leg up behind us again and then swing it down into our first L stance, as described in my best posture video. Now we're bringing our forward arm up and stretch up high over your head with the forward arm and down towards the back heel with the back arm. I'm using forward assuming that we're winging in the direction of the forward-facing foot in the L stance. Now we're switching our posture to stretch the other side, bringing the back arm up, straight up overhead, and the forward arm down towards the foot. Holding that for the same count. Now we're going to do our first foot switch basically going to just hop up, switch our feet, and back down again. This practice is the same basic motion that we use when we're foot switching on the board. And we're gonna do the same stretches on the other side, bringing the forward arm up overhead and stretching that forward side of your body. And then stretching the back side of your body, bringing the back arm up overhead, forward arm down towards the front foot. Now we're coming to the top of our mat again. Simply walk there. 
Bring your arms up overhead. Stretch out over backwards. Come down towards your toes. Up for a quick flat back and to our plank. Going to do another some salutation. Lower down and up to upward facing dog. And into downward facing dog. Now bring our left leg up behind us. Left knee towards the right elbow and the left leg up behind us again and swing it down into our second L stance. On these L stances, make sure your L is perfectly perpendicular. We're building muscle memory for our L stance. Now bring our forward arm, hook it underneath the back arm at the elbow and stretch around to your left, pulling the back arm around into a twist. Keep your legs straight for the first count. Follow your breath as you're waiting for the transition and the legs are continuing to stay straight. Feel the stretch and now let your legs bend so that you can see how much further you can twist in that toe side position with your knee bent. And just bend your legs and simulate changing your posture when you're winging while you continue to do this stretch. Now we're going to switch our stance again with another simulated foot switch and do the same stretch on the other side, bringing the forward arm up underneath the back arm and twisting towards the front of our imaginary board, keeping the legs straight and twisting to simulate a toe side sailing twist of the body, keeping the legs straight, following the breath as you wait for the transition. I'm doing a count of eight breaths, but your breaths lengths will vary. Now bend your knees and twist even further through the knee bend where your hips can rotate and just rock forward and back and twist further with the help of the back leg bending. Now just simply walk to the top of your mat, bring your arms up overhead into a back bend, down towards the toes, up for a quick flat back, and then out to our plank down and up to an upward facing dog to our downward facing dog. Now you're going to bring your right leg up behind you. Stretch it towards the left elbow, bring it up behind you again and swing it down into our third L stance posture. Now we're going to stretch our forearm muscles by doing a prayer pose with our fingers paint pointing towards our chest and we're shifting our weight all the way to the back foot and with each breath as you breathe in shift your weight as far as you can towards the side of the board and onto your back toe and then as you breathe out Shift your weight as far as you can onto the back heel. So we're going back and forth between the toe and the heel, toe and the heel, while we're gradually shifting our weight from the back foot to the front foot. Imagine you're doing S turns as you're doing a glide and needing to adjust your weight forward as you're going slower and slower. But the point is we're getting muscle memory for controlling our side to side 
control of carving the board while we're stretching our forearm muscles. We're going to do another foot switch. See if you can land with your feet roughly in the same place, but looking the other way. We're going to do that forearm stretch again, rocking from side to side with the back to the back toe, the back heel, back heel, back toe, as we gradually shift our weight from being totally on the back leg to almost totally on the front leg. So the pressure on your feet is changing throughout this posture, this exercise. Make sure you keep your forearms being stretched by pushing out so that our awareness is double, upper body and lower body awareness at the same time, just like winging. Coming back up to the top of our mat for another sun salutation. Sorry, we're just going to the top of our mat and we're going to do a tree pose. We're bringing our right leg up. Be sure not to go on your knee. Bring it up above the knee or below the knee. I'm going above. And we're going to straighten the right arm when we're balancing on the left leg and keep the left arm bent. This is simulating our keeping our front arm straight. And if you start to tip like I am, use your front arm as a balancing pole. When you start to tip sideways and you're trying to hold this tree balancing pose. If you're not comfortable with your leg that far up, just put it below the knee. Now we're switching to the other side. Bring your left leg up and your left arm straight out to the side. Again, balancing on the right foot with the left arm straight. Doing these poses on both sides will help to even up your balance skills on both sides of your body. Now we're coming back to a regular standing pose, arms up overhead, stretching over backwards, down towards the toes, come up to a quick flat back, out to a plank. Now we're coming to an upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Bring our left leg up towards the right elbow, left leg up again, and come into a posture that I use for doing my water starts on my sinker. Now this is an opportunity for everyone to take whatever posture they would like that their body is asking for if you don't do a sinker start yet. This is the posture that I'm in when I'm waiting for a puff to get my sinker going. So I'm stretching my legs and my body in the same way that is required for my sinker starting technique. Coming back to a downward facing dog, bringing my right leg up, forward into that sinker starting position. I will do a video on this type of sinker starting technique at some point in the future. This is a bit of a preview of it, but I'm not going to explain it in any depth for this yoga. Again, this is a time that you could do some variation of pose that you're familiar with or one of the suggestions that I've offered in the insert.
now come back to the practice with the group bring your arm go into head of your mat bring your arms up overhead down to your toes come out to a plank and lower straight down flat now we're bringing our right arm out perpendicular from the body coming up onto our right side and our left leg is going to swing up over and to the right side of our body to twist the forward part of our shoulder. This is a wonderful shoulder stretch. The arm that's not sticking out is just on your mat in front of you to help you to balance your pose. Now don't worry if you can't get your foot all the way to the ground with the upper leg. Just bring it over and do whatever stretch you're able to. Notice how I'm scooching my hips so that my hip will be straight, perpendicular to my arm as we switch to the other side. And just get the same stretch on the other side, bringing the right leg up behind you. Follow your breath while you're waiting for the transition and come out of it. Now we're going to stretch the major muscles of our legs. We've done the calf muscles. And now we're going to do the hamstrings and we're going to start with the hamstrings. Now, you need to be able to do a modification to this split style hamstring stretch. This is what it could look like, some version of this for many of you. You try to keep your hips square and you've got your weight mostly on the right knee, just bring the front leg forward as far as you're comfortable and come gently down towards it. You might need to use blocks or some chairs on either side just to get your hamstring stretched. I'm going to go into a bigger stretch. Um, but no matter how wide your split is going to be, try to keep your hips fairly square to the front leg gives you a, a better stretch as you come down over the forward knee. I'm going to hold this for a count of eight of my breaths. Good, different number for you. Now we're going to swing over to the side for a shorter count, keeping the same posture but just bringing your body over to the side of your mat and stretch another part of your leg muscle. Now we're going to come up into a runner stance, a runner's stretch for the quadricep. Again, do whatever modification you need to. I'm going to do a full runner stretch where I'm bringing my left hand back to the right ankle and the right arm up. Now I'm contemplating modifications here. We're going to see a modification when we're on the other side. So bring yourself up into your runner stretch or whatever modification you're doing for your quadricep. And hold it for a count of eight of my breaths. Just follow your own breath and do your own counting for each of these moves. We're switching now to the hamstring of the right leg, putting the left knee down on the mat and bringing the right leg forward into our split or whatever modification you're doing for your hamstring. 
coming down over the right knee. Be gentle with yourself. Just do as much as you're comfortable doing. So you're just feeling a little bit of a stretch. You never want to overdo these stretches. But stretching the major muscles is very important, especially for those extended wingy sessions. Again, we're, if you feel the muscles starting to relax, you can come a little bit deeper and you can come a little bit deeper. And we're switching to the side of our mat to stretch a different part of that straight leg. For a shorter count, I'm doing four of my breaths for these side stretches or side of the mat stretches. And then we're going to switch to the quadricep of the left leg. And I think here's, here's a modification that I thought of for your quadricep. You can keep your left arm down and just pull on the ankle without coming up high. You may want to just hold that for your quadricep stretch. I'm going to go into the full quadricep stretch now for an eight count. But that was just an example of how you might modify this stretch to make it more comfortable and compatible for yourself. Again, following your breath as you hold the stretch. Balancing as best you can. And coming out of it. We're going to roll our mat back down flat. As we've completed stretching all the major muscles of our legs at this point. And we're coming into a Shavasana posture. But just briefly, because we're going to do an inversion, start by bringing your feet up underneath your knees and do a short table and then swing your hips up with your hands underneath your hips and your elbows on the mat into a plow position before you bring your legs straight up. Now we're going to do some split. Split your legs apart, bring them back together. Move your ankles to point your toes and straighten them. Come into a position with your feet together with your knees bent. And then we're going to rotate one of our feet out into the L shape and see how it feels with different width stance to go to the L shape. It's easier to make a full proper L shape when your feet are wider, I've discovered. And we're just giving ourselves some more muscle memory for the L shape when we're in the air. Swing into a boat. Hold the boat. And let go of the boat down and lay it down on your mat. And come into our Shavasana pose with some muscle tightening and relaxing. We're going to start with our toes and feet, tense them and then relax. Tense your calves and then relax. Tense your legs and relax. Your buttocks and relax. Work your way up your body to the tense your arms and relax. Your neck and then relax. 
Finally, we're going to do a lion's pose. Take a deep breath and bring your hands up on either side of your face, palms facing upwards. Open your mouth and eyes as wide as possible and exhale loudly with your tongue sticking out. And come into our final Shavasana, completely relaxing your entire body. Give yourself a well-deserved rest, just following your breath. And resting on your mat. Okay, we're going to come out of our Shavasana, just gently roll to the side and come up into a seated posture. Bring your hands to the prayer position. Namaste.